We love looking at real estate, so we were super excited to film a home tour in our recent visit to Medellin, Colombia. We have four properties to show you today. But before we dive in, if you want to work online or live abroad and be truly free, then make sure to hit that subscribe button because that's what we do and we can help you do it too. All right, Amelia, let's look at some houses. This first property is located in Sabaneta, which is on the south end of Medellin. It's a condo and a high rise on the 11th floor with beautiful views. It's green, it's green views. This is a reserve for of the municipality. That's what, this is what I was telling you before. The cities are keeping little pieces of parks. So nice. Okay, so it's so nice to always have this park here. It's a cute little kitchen. Little galley kitchen. Yeah. Oh, washer and dryer. It's one of those two-in-ones. I don't like those. So the, this is actually netting. It's not Chain metal. Link. Yeah. So you can remove that. That's the safety for their children. This okay. is a cookie cutter. This layout will work anywhere, anywhere else. Basically, it's the same. Obviously, some changes mm -hmm. because of the topography of the lots. Right. But it's basically three bedrooms, two bathrooms, walk-in closet in the master and dining and living. One parking, one storage room downstairs. Okay. Nice little kids room with a nice size closet. Okay. Nice. Yeah, same room. Look at that view. Yeah, the views from here are stunning. I really like the location of this condo building. It's kind of in a quiet area right across the street from an awesome park and they're not going to develop any of that green space on the side of the mountain over there. So you're gonna have nice views. Yeah, and the amenities in that place were incredible. And Sabinita is such a cool community. The condo itself is really, well, it was pretty small, but I really liked it. This condo is a three bedroom, two bathroom with 958 square feet. The HOA is around $77 a month. And they're asking $102,000, which means that's about $106 per square foot. Huge thanks to Juan Camilo Villegas for setting up these showings and getting these properties all organized for us. We know it's a ton of work to do this, to find people who are willing to let us film for YouTube and then organizing the whole filming day. It's a lot of work. So huge thank you, Juan. We really appreciate it. Check below if you're interested in working with a real estate agent in Medellin. Juan is great. The second property is a spacious first floor condo in the beautiful complex of Plaza Manzanares. It's located in El Poblado, walking distance to Zona Rosa, where all the amazing restaurants are located. Dark in here. <laughs> I guess the light isn't working. The couch. Wow, this is a mess. Is this all part of the condo? This terrace is enormous. Yeah, you can have a bowling alley out here. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And then look at all the trees. I love all the trees here. This city is its like a city inside a jungle. I know, it is absolutely stunning. I love it. So this is something that I guess in Ecuador is usual, but not in the U.S. is having a maid's room. Yes. Yeah. Okay, with your own bathroom. Usually, in the new construction, this is dated. Okay, it's hard to find. It's only very high-end right. apartments where you can find a maid's. It's a nice size kitchen, but it would be really nice to open this up yeah. even more. And you're right. I mean, it's it's a very foreign concept to us yes. as U.S. Americans to see that, but it is common in Ecuador yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we see that a lot. And wow, this is a huge laundry. laundry. Yeah. I have an issue with laundry. <laughs> she I loves love it. it. Uh -huh. so. She has a laundry fetish. I wouldn't call it an issue, just a fetish. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, ooh, look at this laundry room. <laughs> wow, this is a lot of living space. Yeah. A lot. And the most important thing like an apartment like this is the location. If you want to be walking distance to the uh, uh, touristic district, this is still a walkable area, it's steep. It's not easy to find a flat, 100% flat <laughs> area in Medellin, but it's walkable, I guess. It is definitely walkable here. It's a good life work. It's good for the booties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love, you can hear the birds and look at, you can look outside and see the forest. JP, this place is really nice. I cannot believe it is 30 years old. It is pristine. It actually has real hardwood floors, which is something you don't see very much anymore. I really like it. And marble out there. Yeah. And the kitchen is a little small because it's a galley kitchen that's enclosed. It would be hard to expand that. It, this place is move and ready and you could just do a couple little tweaks and have your dream home. And I, I personally like that it is walkable to all of the 
re nice restaurants that are very close by. This is a little bit of a touristy area, but it's got so much personality with the beautiful trees and the river and there's lots of parks and it's super clean. I like it. I cannot believe how <laughs> massive that terrace was and Juan said you can actually cover that and make it into like a whole nother outdoor living area. The thing was huge. It was almost as big as the entire apartment. Yeah, in case you can't tell from the video, I loved that apartment. I loved the natural light and the birds. And I know we said that you could remodel that kitchen, but you don't need to. It is move in ready. Yeah, I like that it was only a few blocks from Zona Rosa where all of the restaurants that we ate at when we went and stayed in Medellin, that's where they're all located. So you can just walk down there for dinner. It's a bit of a walk uphill to get back to the place, but I, Amelia likes to say you work on your buns of steel. Yeah, it's good. If you're gonna go eat out, then it's always good to do some walking afterwards. This is a three bedroom, three bath with 1,500 square feet. The HOA is around $160 per month and they're asking $182,000, which makes it about $121 per square foot. Before we head over to our third property, if you're thinking about moving abroad, then sign up for our free newsletter. You will get immediate access to our new report showcasing our five top picks for places to live, work, and retire in Latin America. Check below for a link and join more than 8,000 subscribers. I can't believe 8,000 people like to read our newsletter. This next property is a condo on the 14th floor of Rincón del Aguacatal. It's also located in El Poblado, but it's closer to Santa Fe Mall and El Castillo. So it's not really walkable to Zona Rosa where the restaurants are. Everything is so green. It's beautiful. Wow, and this is just the, the stairwell. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hola, Hola. 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 Wow. wow, this is beautiful too. Yeah. This is beautiful. It has a very nice view. Yeah. The views are all protected already. It means that everything has been built the rock. Okay. So nothing's going to be built here. Okay. And when yeah. I say nothing, it's nothing because this lot belongs to the complex. It is not allowed to build there, and they already built this avenue here. Okay, great. And there are communities, communities, so it's already done. This is nice to have the uh, balcony opened up to the bedroom. This is really pretty. And I think these are the hardwood floors again. This is a really nice bathroom. It's so modern and double sinks, which we have not seen yet. I like it. And a glass shower. This is a lot of closet space. I think we could fit all your shoes in uh -huh. here. I was waiting for the shoe comment. <laughs> oh, un gatito. Yes. Yeah. So now we know why they have the netting up. <laughs> it's not included. No. <laughs> Each bedroom has its own bathroom. Yeah. This is the kids' room, obviously. Or maybe it's the cat's room, I know. Nice little shower in here. Very nice. More closet space. I really like this condo. Oh, this is nice. This sitting good. area. Yeah. This has a very tranquilo vibe to it. Wow. wow. These views are These amazing. These are amazing. And Juan was telling us that it's so important in Colombia that the construction is all built with windows on both sides so you can get the nice cross ventilation since they normally do not use air conditioning. It's really nice to have these windows. This is a nice kitchen. Another galley kitchen. Those seem to be very common here. But it's very spacious. There's your laundry, laundry room. room. Can't miss that. This is a nice size too. This place has so many windows. It's fantastic. Rincón del Aguacatal means avocado plantation corner. There were some avocado trees out front, I think, if I remember correctly. And that it was a really cool place. The views from the condo were just wow. spectacular yeah. on both sides. You have views out of both sides. And if you don't have a cat or small children, you can remove that netting to kind of remove the obstruction from the view. They have that just to keep the cat and the kids from jumping over the, the ledge. And it is a really nice area. El Castillo is absolutely gorgeous. The whole area is so pretty. Plus you've got the big gigantic mall right there. So your shopping is close by and there's a couple really nice grocery stores as well. And of course there's other restaurants. Yeah, so even though it's not walkable to Zona Rosa, there's still a lot of places to go out and eat and shop in that area. 
This is a three bedroom, four bathroom with 2,206 square feet. The HOA is around $159 per month and they're asking $243,000. That makes it about $110 per square foot. Our final property is a single family home located on the eastern edge of El Poblado in the El Tesoro neighborhood. It's directly across the street from Clinica El Rosario and close to the El Tesoro Mall. Oh, wow. Wow. Good. Buenos dias. Vamos adentro del viejito ya, no tengo necesitas. Ah, this house is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love it. This feels like the White House. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. All these places are, well, we've only seen two so far, but they're quite a bit larger than I have in this garden. This garden is amazing. Look at all these uh, elephant plants. I know. Beautiful. I mean, the temperature is just perfect out here, too. Love this garden. Oh, it's gorgeous. It feels very lush here to have this beautiful house and this pretty garden and the temperature is just amazing. I'm very comfortable. So they just remodeled this kitchen. This is a also a 30 years old house. So they have removed all the kitchen. This is a very specialized finishing. It's people who likes to cook. So they have this cooler table here and they can chair in this bar. So use this bar also as a dining. There is a lot of functional space in here. And I bet you guys, you're very familiar to, be, to having a door right to the right garage. Right to the garage, yes. Yeah. Something we haven't seen in a long time. Yeah. And we won't have seen, we won't, we won't see this in the next. Oh, here's Amelia's fetish room. Wow, there's a lot. This is, <laughs> wow, this is big. Light. This is a really nice laundry area. Oh, I guess this is the, in the maid's room. So hot water here, is that what I'm looking at? You can do your your pontificating from up here. Yes. <laughs> Talk to the masses, the fans. <laughs> yeah, very funny, JP. Wow, this is awesome. We are in the neighborhood of El Tesoro, and it is beautiful. The air is so fresh and clean here, and the temperature is perfect. This is such an amazing location because you have the new clinic right across the street, so it's within walking distance to your health care. And you have the El Tesoro Mall, which has a big shopping area and a, a grocery store. And there is another strip mall with more shopping. This is not the master yet. Okay. We're going to dive into master. Oh, I can't wait to see. Look at these pretty ceilings. Oh, the vaulted yeah. ceilings are nice. Yeah, I would assume this is the master. Wow, this is really nice. Lots of shelving, closet, yes. big bathroom, nice oh, corner yeah. shower. Wow, this is a beautiful room too. Yeah. Wow. Each room has a bathroom and big size bathroom. And this one has a balcony. Yeah. It's as. <laughs> This bathroom is really big. I am very surprised to see how big these bathrooms and bedrooms are. I really like these corner glass showers. Those are cool. I know, and I love the ceilings. So this is the master high ceilings. This Gorgeous. high ceilings is not easy to find here. And this size bathroom, it's very unique. I mean, bathrooms in Colombia generally are smaller and it's not the most important part of the house for us. Right. We enjoy more, maybe the kitchen, dining, living. Wow, it's another balcony off of the master. So you have the two balconies and these incredible views and so much natural light and fresh air. Master bath. Oh, wow, this has a tub. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. This is really nice. And a nice size walk-in closet. Wow, this is nice. Yeah. Lots oh, of... It's a built-in shelving and it's nice. This house is quite large. This, this is office. This is really cool. Very European. Wow. Yeah. Look at these. <laughs> this is awesome. I know. What a surprise. This would be a cool recording studio. This would be a cool recording studio and it yeah. doesn't seem very echoey in here. It's not because of the vaulted ceilings. Yeah. 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 Big problem with echo. And yet another bathroom. Another bathroom. A full bath. So this is yeah. has four full bathrooms? Yes. And a social bath and on the main. It's half. I call this place Casablanca because it felt just like the White House. It was so big with the nice balconies, 
beautiful backyard. The place was huge. It was amazing. Yeah. yeah, I don't think our video does it justice. It was enormous, especially with those high ceilings and the place just kept going on and on. And to have that big kitchen and the two car garage, which is actually really unusual, well, we both really liked it. Yeah, I really like that attic too. It would be an awesome yeah. recording studio for us because of the angle pitched ceilings that was really good at reducing echo. Yeah, there were so many unique features in that house, like those wood vaulted ceilings and all the closet space and all the bathrooms, I mean, everything. The, and the garden, gorgeous. Yeah, the major downside is you would really need a car if you wanna live there because it's kind of up on the hill and it, everything is downhill and the hill up there is pretty steep. It's not that walkable. There's no like real restaurants around that area. So you would really need a car if you want to live there. This place is three bedrooms plus the attic area. It has four and a half bathrooms, 4,036 square feet. The HOA is about $155 per month and the asking price is only $370,000. That makes it about $92 per square foot. So Amelia, which one of these is your favorite? This was a tough one, but I have to say my favorite was the one with that massive terrace. Even though I don't know how much we would use that terrace, I I really liked the condo just the way it was. It felt really homey and cozy to me. I loved all the natural light and hearing the birds and seeing those trees outside, but the location I think was the clincher. Yeah, it was a great location, walkable to the restaurants and stuff. I loved Casablanca. That house was incredible. It was beautiful, all of the natural wood and the nice backyard. It was a quiet neighborhood. And right across from the Clinica, Rosario is nice, but I don't want to have a car. So I think for me too, the big terrace place, the, that would be awesome because we could walk and not have to have a car. We'll share Juan's contact info below so you can connect with him. And we shared a Medellin neighborhood tour in a previous video, so check that out next. That'll give you a little bit better idea of where these properties are located. And let us know in the comments which property you like the best. And that is all we have for this video. We will see you all next time. Ciao. Ciao.